Afternoon everybody, Rich here, back for another video for the Diecast F1 review. Here today is the McLaren MP48 from the 1993 Formula 1 World Championship uh, by Paul's Model Art, 118th scale of course, and this version is of Ayrton Senna. And it's uh, a very nice model it is indeed, and we'll get to the model in just a minute, but a quick rundown of the car. It's the car Senna used to make the Williams team, the almighty, all-conquering all Williams uh, of 93 look like complete amateurs, or at least in the early part of the season anyway. A victory in the Brazilian, uh, was it the Brazilian, is it European, Monaco, Japanese and Australian Grand Prix, I had to think then. Uh, but yeah, only, only five victories, but Senna did make it difficult for the Williams team. It was only at the Portuguese Grand Prix when the uh, challenge faded. But uh, yeah, Senna made the uh, made things look made, well, made things difficult for Williams that year. Although only using a customer Ford engine, as apart from Benetton, who had the works engine. And apologies for the noise. But we've got a dog down the side here making a lot of noise. I think she wants to go outside. Uh, anyway, but yeah, using a basic engine and. Uh, Initially driven by or well, driven by Senna throughout the year, but initially initially originally driven by um, Michael Andretti in the in the second car, and then later on was replaced by Mika Hakkinen, who pretty much made things a lot easier for McLaren or made things better anyway, because uh, Andretti was just useless, I think. Um, but yeah, this is the car that uh, Senna took to victory at the European Grand Prix. The basically, if you want to, it's like Martin Brundle said, if you want to lap. Of what Ayrton Senna is all about, then the first lap of the European Grand Prix is pretty much Senna all over. Go from fifth to first in well one lap basically, um, and I don't think anyone's done that since. At least not as uh, easily or not as uh, um, what's the word? Doesn't matter. Um, anyway, onto the bundle itself. The box is a early McLaren collector um, or McLaren collection box. It's sort of I'm not sure if it's grey or green, it's sort of off green but grey, I'd say grey but it does look green under certain light and it's got the uh, red band underneath, not much on the side apart from the McLaren collection not much around the back apart from the barcode and then not much around the, the other side either, so I shall do a quick jump cut I will take it out of the box and we'll have a closer look then so uh, back in a moment Okay, back again. Now here's the car in its unboxed glory. A fabulous looking car it is as well. How a Formula 1 car should look in the modern era. None of these uh, stubby noses and uh, ridiculous uh, rear front and rear wings. Um, but yeah, this is this is Formula 1 to a T. This is how it should be. Also, you should have the wide track as well. I don't want these silly narrow cars. Anyway, onto the model itself. It's one of the better models of the early 1990s. It's uh, There's no decal peeling at all. Very nicely painted as well. I think it's a bit might be a bit short compared to how it does look in real life. I think that the wheelbase might be a bit undercut, but I'm not sure. But uh, I'm not complaining. This uh, this is the early model as well. I did point, I should point that out at the beginning. It's the early version. There's no no driver figure in the car, and um, it doesn't come in that fancy center box either. So there's no uh, no frills of this model. It's the box standard one, and. Uh, I have to say, it is a fabulous car. It does sort of pivot on a point there. So I think the under tray is a bit low. But uh, a fabulous looking car. And there's, there's no decal on the rear wing. That's a shame. There's no Marlboro or McLaren logo. But uh, it's fine with me. And uh, it is a fab looking car. I'll just point out the details of this car. There's no detail, uh, I say join lines. And so, like, if I look, uh, point out on the engine cover here, you can see a, a join line where the engine cover attaches or joins to the main body. There's none of that on the nose here. There's no uh, inspection panel for the suspension. There's no join for the nose either. It's just sort of a, a smooth line at the top of the cockpit. So that's, it does uh, deter from the uh, detail there. Just drop a couple of points from that one, but I'm not sure if they corrected that in later models. I'm not sure, or, or later releases. Uh, but I will have to look into that one. Um, but apart from that, I think the detail wise it's absolutely fine and I just noticed on the uh, side as well the uh, squashed hedgehog on the cockpit there signifying beating Williams at their own game and uh, nicely doing as well. I do like the white of this car as well, the white does it really does stand out because I do have another version of this car, we'll show you in a bit and it has faded badly and the camera's trying to run away as well. Um, but yeah, I will just do a quick 
turn underneath. There's no detail really underneath. It's still an early 90s car with a flat bottom and that wood plank or anything like that. And then we've got the uh, Paul's model art there. McLaren MP48 there and the 118 there. So that's basically all you need to look at underneath. And a uh, fabulous looking car. I'll just quickly do a quick zoom around the cockpit. Just get the camera up and turn the car. A bit more detail inside the cockpit this time. There's coloured buttons. Nice round steering wheel. Detail all around there. Just wondering what that uh, frilly thing is. I think there's a hair that's attached to the car. Which uh, shouldn't be there. Get, get off. Bloody things. Yeah, there's a hair there, but uh, detail wise, it's fine. The wing mirror got the uh, actually reflect as well. I noticed that is actually reflecting oh, reflection in the mirror. And uh, also, same on the other side, the mirrors do actually reflect something other than just being a bit of foil stuck on. But uh, apart from that, it's well, I'd say, not say apart from that, but uh, it's something that is uh, quite nicely done. And uh, it is a nice model as well. I did say it is the early version as well. There have been <coughs> probably, uh, a few other versions as well. Of course, there's the uh, three drivers version, the Andretti and the Hackett edition. Um, and also a later edition for the, uh, I think it was released about two years ago, two, three years ago for the Brazilian Grand Prix edition. The center in the car holding the uh, flag. And there were issues with that one because the, um, the uh, Goodyear logos on the tires were the wrong color. They should be yellow like this, but on that model at the time, they released were white, which is wrong. But that's a mini chance we're not really looking at the, uh, not looking at proper pictures, and not looking at history. They're just sort of jumping the gun with it. But uh, never mind. Um, but yeah, there are there are two other editions with that with this car as well. Like I said, the uh, Andretti and Hackett in edition. Strength-wise, this car is rock solid. The steering is nicely is uh, what I say. It's nicely on there. It's very stiff. And it doesn't feel like it's going to break at any second. It's really well put together. The rear wing as well is on there quite nicely, and the front wing as well. That's really the only plastic parts on the car. The rest of it is pretty much metal, well, except for the wing mirrors as well. Don't want to touch them too much because they'll probably snap them off. Um, and also, you got the uh, the front wing, which extends under the front suspension as well. Something which later banned, but uh, as you'd expect with the rule makers and. Uh, Apart from that, it is fine. Um, I don't know if there is a version with the barge board. I'm not sure because the car did run later on in the year with barge board, big well, like barn doors next to the uh, side of the cockpit. I'm not sure they, they actually made a model of that in 118. And they may have made it in 143, but 118 scale version, I'm not sure. Uh, they did have the barge boards on the 94 car uh, model anyway, but I'm not sure if they ever released one with the uh, barge boards in 118 uh, for the 93 car. I will look that up, um, but not much else to say at the moment. I will show you my other version of this car I have. What's the same car, it's still centre involved, but uh, it is a bit of a mess. So we just push the good one away and look at my other one. Now, although on camera it's not immediately obvious, but this this car, although it's a Marlboro conversion, it is quite badly done. It's they put a varnish over it, and it's also dusty. There's a varnish on it, and it's gone yellow. And it does look ridiculous. You can't really tell on camera, but it is yellow and you can't. don't know if there's a way of cleaning it without damaging the decal, but uh, it has yellowed quite badly. And it's a shame because I did pay quite a bit of money for this car. But uh, not much else I can do. I'll just have to try and get some I don't know, cleaner or something to see if it'll buff up. But it is really badly yellowed. And also the decal on the front wing is a bit frayed as well. Another issue I have with mine is the wing mirror has been replaced as well. I bought this on eBay about uh, 2008-2009 and uh, the wing mirror was replaced as well. <laughs> the guy had it before me, I think he, he lost the uh, one that was on there and he replaced it with this gawky thing on there. It does the job but uh, compared to the wing mirror on the other side it really is out of place. And uh, the uh, the, deca the, the Marlboro decals are not bad, they're, they're, they're on there quite well but uh, I think the font Maybe a bit wide, or you know, quite a bold font, which um, I think should be a bit less, more less bold. Uh, but not much else I can really say about it at the moment. It's, uh, it's still the same as the car there, just with uh, a crap colour scheme and uh, Marlboro decals. Really does need a clean dust wise, yes, but also the yellow paint is uh, it does look awful. But uh, not much else I can say. 
not much else. I can, I can complain as much as I want, but nothing will ever get done, so <laughs> never mind. And also the decals on the underside, well, in the inside the suspension are a bit shit as well. So this one hasn't aged very well for a car which is now 20, is it 21 years? No, no 93, 22 years. So yeah, nearly 22 years old this car. But uh, I can't complain. We got two of them anyway, so that's all the all the issues sorted there. So basically, one for the box version and one for a, a cabinet version. Is basically all it is here because I don't have the box for this one. Uh, but anyway, that's those two cars, and uh, that's pretty much it for the review. There's not much else I can say, um, and I will come back with more reviews later on as well. I do apologise for not uh, uploading any videos recently. I've had a few other issues as well as not having a tripod anymore. So I've got this thing balanced on top of a tea towel on top of a Capri Sun box. <laughs> which is the only thing I could uh, find. Um, anyway, this is Rich, signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return with another review, so uh, bye for now.